already so many lost spirits who don't even remember who they were. They need your help. You'd be like a hero to them. You mortals like being called heroes, don't you? <laughs> Lovely. beautiful bugs and welcome back to another episode of spirit tea so today is officially the third day um, as you can see up in the top right we've definitely got a lot more on the screen than we did before so our first task today is to go and get some tea from Tifa and so she is the one that is over in this direction it is raining oh my goodness <laughs> froggy chase the frog <laughs> All right, if I remember correctly, she is down here somewhere. Yeah, down here, awesome. So we're gonna come down, wow, it is getting really dark. Holy cow, it is it is storming and icky. <laughs> Definitely a day for tea, I gotta say that. Ah, there you are, as promised here. Yay, you got the fresh tea leaves, sweet. All right, so I guess we need to go and make some tea. So if an item can be eaten, used, or you can perform this action by pressing left shift. Remember, if you have space in your backpack, you can store carried objects by pressing C. Yes, okay, so we can go ahead and put that back in to our lovely backpack. And then let's head back to the house so we can actually make ourselves some tea. Definitely, yeah, oh, what is going on here? Oh, the, okay, there are little birds that were behind the, the, um, the pots there. It's like, um, Planners! That was, okay, that was the word I was actually looking for. <laughs> oh my goodness. I swear, words are just, yeah. <laughs> Place tea leaves in the teapot by facing the teapot and interacting with it while holding tea leaves. All right, so we come over here and here is our lovely teapot. So let's go into our baka paka. And here we go. And then interact with it. And yes, we wanna make some tea. You added tea leaves and water to the teapot. It seems to be heating up supernaturally. Oh dear. A supernatural teapot. That never bodes well. <laughs> uh, okay, can I? Oh, oh, okay. Yep, it's already ready. Sweet. You drank the spirit tea. Mm. Oh, stupid, feeble creature. So selfish. Leaving. M <laughs> Wait, can you see me? <laughs> yes. You can, can't you? This, this is. I'm supposed to be guiding. <laughs> And there he is! There's Wadyan! How long was I? I can't believe that even I became lost. Mai, you'd never let me live this one down. Wait, who the heck are you? I'm Mantis. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got problems. <laughs> um, how do you play? Oh, we, we? Yes, we. You live here now, don't you? This town is crawling with troublemaking spirits. They're what's called lost because humans have stopped worshipping, leaving offerings, or even thinking about them anymore. Oh, dear. Fortunately, I'm not as weak as those other fools, though I nearly lost control. Anyway, you can call me Wanyan. And since you appear to be somewhat spiritual, you're going to help me get things under control when you're around here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't speak. <laughs> What's with that look? You didn't come here to mess about with spirits? I get it. You mortals live short lives and fill each day with things that bring you happiness. The truth is, I know we need you. Darn it, are you really going to make me beg? <laughs> there are already so many lost spirits who don't even remember who they were. They need your help. You'd be like a hero to them. You mortals like being called heroes, don't you? <laughs> Lovely. Ah, fine, I'll help you. That's more like it. I think I have a plan that just might work. But first, you need to see something. Let's head up to the mountain. Look for the stairs uh, at the eastern part of town. All right, so I know where those are. We passed by it when we were given the tour so we went ahead in this direction we'll run through the run through the fields <laughs> i love i love yeah i love the fact that they actually did the um like the reflection i think that is so cool all right let's see we keep going in this direction frogs everywhere there should be a road around here should what, what was that what am i hearing Oh, okay, I'm hearing the blacksmith. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hearing something. All right, here we go. There's the stairs. So go ahead and climb these awfully long staircase. 
All right, ascend the mountain. Yes, we are ascending the mountain. All right, what's over this direction? Okay. All right, nice broken down area. And then if I remember correctly, there's a little temple over here. Oh, oh, hey! Nico, I love spending time in the garden. It gives me something to do. Aw. All right, and here we go. So this one, because I remember this from the, um, from the demo. So we can actually put Oscar's lunch in the offering here. And so we've got, yeah, multiple things that we can end up putting up for offering. I don't, yeah. I don't... Yeah, I don't know what any of those other things are, but that is all right. We'll figure out as we go. But yeah, it was funny because, you know, I'm, I'm the type that likes to explore everywhere, and I found that. I'm like, oh, 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 yeah, I picked up Oscar's lunch. Oops. <laughs> so Oscar's lunch is now an offering. So I don't know what the offerings actually do. So, and yeah, wow, yes, the bathhouse, really big. Oh, oh, I didn't notice a door over there. This is, well, used to be a bathhouse of spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. Oh, and yeah, outdoor, outdoor bathing too. Spiritual people such as yourself used to look after the spirits and run the bathhouse, but it's not all for charity. The spirits would in turn offer some of the wealth they receive from their shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned. The last bathhouse keeper was a spunky girl in fact, she used to live in the house you've just moved into, though I don't know how long she's been gone. Yes, we don't know how long. The, the house was a little neglected, so. Oh, the spirits need you to become the next keeper of the bathhouse. Otherwise, they'll become more and more lost and cause more and more havoc to the people of Bugville. Okay, why me? Don't kid yourself. It didn't have to be you. Anyone with a lick of spirituality would have done. But you did come, and you can help everyone, spirits and people alike. So you're in then. <laughs> Good. Glad we're all on the same team. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Then if you're, we're meaning to get this place up and running, we'll need to first open her up. If I'm not mistaken, I left the key with a spirit who has a fondness for sweets. Find the spirit and we'll find the key. Yes. The whether or not you'll be able to see the spirit is questionable, but we can deal with that later. For now, let's head to a place with a lot of sweet foods. Okay, so let's go ahead and head down to the, I think it was the convenience store that had the spirits in the demo. Granted, I mean, it could have changed, but we shall we shall see. Oh, there's a little row or a raven or, yep. And oh my gosh, you definitely seem busy. I'm going to check in on her. Hi. Yeah, you are. Can I can I talk to you? There we go. I like working outside in the spring. Yes, I bet you like working outside in the spring. But unfortunately, right now it is raining. All right. So here we go. This is. Oh, hmm. This place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. All right. Yes. Press enter. And there we are. Hey, not bad, mortal. You seem to be figuring it out pretty quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> now then, let's find the spirit. Yes. Nyehem. No, no, that one. I haven't tried the one with the caramel yet. Oh, that one is so good. Hey, check out this mortal. They're almost look, they almost look like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you if I thought with my stomach like you always do. <laughs> it's the fuzz. Let's cheese it. <laughs> oh, I love it. What in the world? Don't just stand there. Catch them. I'll use what little power I have to help you keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Uh, okay. All right. And then let's see. Under normal circumstances, yeah, drink in the spirit tea. We'll replenish. All right. There we go. <laughs> what are you doing, you lunatics? You just want to, we just want to talk to you. All right. Well, we got one. Oh, there we go. We got two. Oh. There we go. Fun time's over, clown car. Revert back now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, trying to the, do the WASD and then the E and the shift is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you two? What? Who? What? Wanyan? And which one of you PETA braids has the key to the bathhouse? Key? The key. I remember Wanyan and a key. <laughs> one of you better start talking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. I have the key. I remember. Now I'm called Fatherog, and and I was known as Aram. So Fatherog and Aram. 
Two spirits. <laughs> nice. One yet. Oh, I'm so sorry I failed you, my lord. I, it seems I forgot who I was, but I never forgot your task for me. I have kept the key safe all of these years. Here, you must be the new keeper of the bass. Yes, I got a key now. So wait, what? Why, why were you holding it up like that? Can't everyone act normal for just a moment, please? As for you two, this mortal here named Mantis, uh, correct? Has agreed to get the bad house up and running again. I expect to see much of you and your kind there regularly. <laughs> yes, of course, Wang Yan, sir, will be there with friends. <laughs> with friends, of course. <laughs> oh, the interactions of this are amazing. Gods be darned, those fools gave us a run around, didn't they? Yeah, well, whenever you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. All right, back to the bathhouse. All right, let's head up here and open her up. Oh, <laughs> it's a, it's a bad darde. Just a, just a smidge. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, sniff. Ah, yes, this brings back memories. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right, you have no idea how important this place is, Mantis. The spirits around here are in bad shape. You probably can't see most of them just yet, but believe me when I say they're up to no good. And unfortunately, it's the townsfolk who are suffering for it. Right. So with those happy thoughts in mind, how about we start doing something about it? <laughs> first things first, follow me. All right. Where are we going? Lots of dirt. Lots and lots of dirt. All right, let's talk to Wang Yun, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. There we go. Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome to the bathhouse. It was built centuries ago and has served as a sanctuary for spirits ever since. One thing you've probably noticed is that you can see me without even using your spirit vision. It's not entirely known why spirits can be seen here, but it likely has something to do with the very rare tree that was planted in the courtyard of this structure. Over time, the tree grew to enormous proportions and had ex exerted its special properties upon the building. Anyway, enough of the history lesson. You're here to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide our essentially customers to their spots in the bath. Spirits will pay you depending on their bathing experience, which can be affected by many things, including follow me. Alright, um, I, I can't, there, <laughs> I'm like, I can't follow you. Don't give me control. Ooh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, speak to Wanyan. Yep, I ended up pressing the wrong button. Alright, there we go. Including water temperature. This is a boiler for all the baths in the room above us. You have to keep this thing up burning so the baths can stay hot. Yes. Your source of fuel for this baby is right here. Cut a chunk of this tree root for fuel. Hold E when facing the saw to cut. Yes. And there we go. We're cutting the logs. Cutting the logs. All right. And maybe. <laughs> Takes a little while. Oh, and it's starting to grow back. And voila, the tree magically regrows its roots. I'm sure this tree doesn't like you doing this, but bad housekeepers have cut this root over and over for centuries. And this is just a hunch. But it seems like the tree is doing just fine. Yeah. <laughs> Nyan, or one thing <laughs> to note is that this root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of this whole area. What I mean is the more spirits we track down and smack sense into, the more healthy the spirit tree becomes. Which means more roots regrowing and therefore more mulogs. If you don't see the, the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be growing again after you've slept or something. Yeah, anyway, throw that log and one more onto the boiler and then come meet me upstairs. Yes, okay, I shall do that. And we've got the log. All right, got that. And then we go back upstairs. And there we go. Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions. Yes, thank you. Very good at following simple instructions. <laughs> With your work ethic and my brains, we can have this place running in no time and making lots and lots of mulags. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, do you see this shrine here? It shows you the bath temperatures. If you see the temperature dropping, then you better head to the boiler and load it up some more. All right, sweet, good. Now it's almost time to ring the bell and let the spirits in. But first we need to make sure we've got some clean towels to let the spirits use. Spirits need towels? <laughs> spirits need, of course they need towels. What kind of shoddy bathhouse are you planning on running here? <laughs> Come on, let's see if there are any towels still. If we're lucky, they won't be too moldy. Yes, we don't need moldy towels. That would not be good. Not be good at all. All right. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm okay. First, I gotta talk to Wanya. Got it. <laughs> Check that towel box for dirty used towels. When spirits are done with their baths, they will leave their towels in the box and on their way out the door. As you might have guessed, use E while facing the towel bin to check for towels. Yes, I, I, I tried that, but you wouldn't let me. Good, there are some towels left. Let's go get them cleaned up this way. This way, this way, yes. Follow Wanyan. 
da, 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 da. You are, yeah, why, why do you, you, you move slower than I do, dude. All right, here we go. Do, do. All right, so I'm assuming that I need to talk to you first. Oh, okay, put you down. Talk to you. Welcome to the washing or kitchen. I suppose we never did come up with a name for it. <laughs> Let's just call it the prep room. As you can see, things here have also become quite overgrown and unusable. Fortunately, that's not the case for the wash tub and heating vents. Throw the used tiles into the wash tub and give them a good scrub by holding down E. Keep washing until you've cleaned at least four of them. All right, so we go like this, we come over here, and we just go washy washy for, oh, okay. Excellent. Now take those wet towels and start hanging them over the heating vent. Remember, towels will only dry if you've got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning any wood in the boiler, then the towels won't dry. Yet another reason to keep the boiler topped up. Got it. All right. So we go grab this and we go do that. The towels will take some time to dry, so it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse, keeping the boiler hot, cleaning towels, cooking for spirits when you've hired someone to clean this area up, scrubbing spirits with a brush. All of these things will affect a spirit's happiness and therefore affect how much moologs they will leave you in thanks. Piece of cake, right? Right. <laughs> You're a lively one. I can almost smell the moologs now. <laughs> All right. Right, let's bring those to uh, dry towels to the bathhouse entrance. Yes. Okay, I mean you. You bring the towels. Yeah, yes, thank you, Wanyan. I, I, I know. I, I am I am your I am your you know handy little slave. <laughs> All right. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, four more towels and get those drying. While we go and work on some other things. So we'll grab these and then go follow Wanyan. Ah uh, da 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 come back. All right, are they dry? No visible wall, perfect. Drop them over on the green bamboo mat. All right, a boop. When Spirit says the bath health, it will, they will automatically grab a towel from this bamboo towel zone. Make sure you do your best to always have some fresh towels for the spirits to use. Awesome. All right, I think we're ready. Ring this bell to open the bathhouse up to the spirits. All right, sweet. Yes, open it up. There we go. All right. Right on time, you've got your first guest. Take their towel from them and lead them to our only bath that is currently ready. One thing to keep in mind, if you ever don't want to see a particular spirit, you can always bring the towel back to the entrance. The spirit will leave on their own. I don't recommend doing this often though, not if you want to make moologs anyway. But there will be times when a spirit is too large for your bath or it might ruin the bathing experience you've created. In those cases, just give them the boot and they'll come back later. Yeah, anyway, grab the spirit's towel and seat them in the bath. Yes, okay. So we're going to take your towel and you're gonna follow me and I am going to plop you down right there. And that's just about all there is to it. You can tell a spirit's mood when standing near them. A happy face means their happiness is improving, whereas an angry face means their happiness is on the decline. Once you've seated a spirit in a bath, they're in there for the duration of their stay. This means if you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, then you won't be making as much money as you could be. You could remedy this by making an extra effort to improve that spirit's mood, back scrubbing, giving food, adding elixirs to the water, or if you're too busy, you could just accept the blunder and move on. All right, so the most important thing to know about running a spirit bathhouse is that spirits all belong to a particular season. Spirits enjoy sitting near spirits from the season after theirs. On the other hand, spirits just like sitting near spirits uh, whole season, or whose season is opposite their own. All right, got it. Lots of stuff to remember. Confused? Ah, uh, you would be. I must have a peanut for a brain. Okay, how about this? If I recall correctly, the two spirits we chased around town were spring and fall spirits. So you probably don't want to uh, sit them near each other. Figuring out which spirits belong to which season will take a bit of trial and error. Or wait, you might be able to consult the old spirit information tomes, but those have likely been buried for centuries. There's one other thing I should mention. Come here for a second. Yes, come here for a second. Uh, okay, I, I can't if, oh, oh, <laughs> won't even let me, let me do it. <laughs> I noticed it when, when the previous bathhouse keeper was taking care of the place, okay? The ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard of this bathhouse seems to react to how pleased the spirits are when they leave after their bath. I've seen this tree root grow as more and more spirits leave after having a fulfilling bath. It's possible something important might happen when the root grows to a certain length. Yeah, I don't know. I'm usually more focused on how much money the spirits leave us. Okay, I'll leave you to figure out things on your own. Ring the bell again if you want to close the bathhouse. Spirits will still pay you, but not as much as if you let them enjoy their whole bath undisturbed. 
Um, if you're tired, you can always go home and sleep, which saves the game, whatever that means. Oh, and don't forget to collect your earnings from the money pot by the front entrance when you're done working. All right, sweet. So there we go. So now we have full control of our character and we can actually start doing the stuff that we need to do in order to take care of the bathhouse. So let's go ahead and grab our lovely towels and stuff for these guys. And then we'll place all of these next to each other. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so we got one more and then we need to go get more towels. That is all right. All right, it looks like. Oh, it looks like we might need more wood. Hold on. Yep, it's starting to go down. So let's go ahead and go down here. And yep. And we need to get this taken care of. There we go. So this is, yeah, this should definitely be interesting. So it looks like, yeah, days are definitely going to end up taking a while. Because here it is. It's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon uh, for this day. And yeah, we're already like 23 minutes into the day. So, or 23 minutes into uh, recording. So this should be... Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to end up cutting up these episodes, but what I might do is when um, I open up the bathhouse, do it as like kind of like a time lapse. You could definitely do that um, and then just highlight different things that, you know, might might be important. Okay, so that one's growing back, so we can end up doing more. All right, sweet. So now we can come over here and we've got fresh towels, so let's scrub up. I don't know if we're going to have enough to do another load. No, we've got two, but that is right. We'll just do that. We'll grab these. And then I noticed that there were some brooms and stuff on the edge there. So I'm thinking that I'll end up going ahead and serving these guys. And then I'll check to see if the broom, if I can like grab the brooms or anything, um, which should be interesting if I can, because that might be what we need in order to actually clean up all of this. So let me go ahead and take care of these and then we'll go check on the broom. All right, let's go ahead and come over here. Um, can I pick these? Oh, ah, I can. Okay. Is this? Oh, okay. All right, so that looks like some kind of duster maybe. All right, we'll just leave that in the middle there for right now. And then let's grab this. All right. So it's a shift button to actually use it. Um, is, oh, it does do, okay. All right, so is this? Aw, okay. <laughs> I, I think that's doing something, maybe. Doesn't seem to be making him happier, but I am scrubbing him apparently. Yeah, maybe he's just mad because he's about ready to leave the bath, I don't know. That's interesting, okay, cool. So we got all of this stuff and then, yeah, we don't have any more towels, so. So I guess I need to go and work on cleaning up all of this. So it looks like it is not growing back this time. So this is going to be the end of our night. So whoever we can serve now is going to be the last of our actual, um, yeah, our actual people. dark now <laughs> it is oh oh what what oh what just happened oh oh okay uh <laughs> what, yeah, what's going on um oh hello your sp oh my spirituality increased you're now able to see more spirits around town 
Oh, okay, what the blazing boiler was that all about? Oh, that's funny. Uh, you should know Wanyan. Hmm, you seem different. <laughs> yes, I'm a little different. Your spirituality seems to have deepened. The ancient tree sprouting from this bathhouse seems to have rewarded you for serving all of this, uh, our spiritual bathhouse customers. Well, keep it up. If serving spirits at the bathhouse improves your spirituality, then that means we'll be able to find more customers. I mean, troublemaking spirits around town. <laughs> it's win-win, really. Okay, well, that I mean, that is good to know. I mean, great, it is, it is super dark, so I'm hoping this comes through, okay? Um, yeah, and then let's, I, uh, we're not steaming anymore, so we need to close up the bathhouse. So these are just last two. So let's go ahead and ring the bell to close it. Yes, we want to close it. So everybody is gone. And let's see how many or how much we got. Oh, wow. Okay. So 1,113 Amulogs. That's awesome. Okay. So that means that we probably need to go through and pick up everything. I want to make sure we've got all of this. So yeah, it's definitely going to take a while to actually clean all of this stuff up. And then I didn't realize that the days were going to be this long. But that is our right. We can um, we can definitely deal with that. Um, I'll probably do like time lapses and stuff for the actual nights. And that way, you know, during the days, you know, if we do any quests and stuff like that. And then, yeah, once we open up this, you know, the bathhouse. Oh my gosh. And it's 11 o'clock at night. So let's head back. Oh, a little firefly. <laughs> nice. So we'll end up heading back to the house. And yeah, and then go ahead and sleep. So what, um, another thing, I'll probably end up just leaving these, these episodes a little bit longer. I really, you know, I really love this game. And then I think, I think the longer episodes will actually do it, you know, do it justice. So with that being said, as I make my way home in the dark, <laughs> oh, 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 come over here, Mantis. I've got something to show you. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to end the episode, but all right, come on. <laughs> I was going to end it, but yeah, <laughs> apparently mm, we got something else. Okay. So you see this board here, this is the town board. It's where the locals like to post all kinds of things. However, more recently, I've noticed them posting concerns that are very peculiar. I know this town is crawling with spirits and I have a feeling that a lot of the concerns posted here could be linked somehow. It's probably a good idea to check this board out periodically. If my hunch is correct, and of course it is, then we'll be able to find many more potential customers for our bathhouse. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, <laughs> one, yeah. All right, very, very late night. So yeah, so I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this like first full day of, yeah, the bathhouse and all of that. It was definitely super fun to get this all done up. All right, so I know I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.